hello, everybody. It's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. As promised, here's a jewelry haul video. So this first box I'm going to show you was a very near terrible disaster. I brought my whole car full of stuff a couple of weeks ago to this auction house that I really like to sell some of my items through. And they said, your stuff's going to go in the auction uh, in early October. So the last week of September, I go on their website and I see some of this jewelry right here, which I have no idea how this must have accidentally gotten into one of the bags. So um, I was very, very upset about it. So I call the place like maybe an hour before the auction is set to begin and they're doing previews. And I say to the woman, you, you have to pull that jewelry back. I'm so sorry, but I didn't mean to give all that to you. So they only pulled some of it and a lot of it was sold. And uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm not sure what was sold. All I know is I, I made uh, $370, but this kind of stuff, like this item right here, I wouldn't want to sell in an auction because, you know, auctions, you can't really get the most money. They're generally dealers buying the stuff. I love this bracelet, so I didn't even want to sell it anyhow. It's really massive. I think this might be uh, from Thailand. I'm not exactly sure. I guess that's Buddha, right? And I just think this is a very, very interesting piece. Now, if I did want to sell this, which I don't, you know, I wouldn't sell it as at an auction where, you know, I'll get $35 for it. So I rescued that back. Kind of a cool bracelet, right? If anybody has any information on this, I would love to know it. What does that say? I'm sure it says something positive and wonderful. So anyway, very heavy bracelet. So I rescued that one. Here's another piece that I don't want to sell. Here, let me move this so it doesn't mess with the focus. I think this is really cool and very different. And I really, really love this brooch right here. So that one, I'm glad I saved. But the one that I saw in the picture on the website, I almost had a heart attack, was this antique necklace that I really, really think is outstanding. I love this thing. Look how old it is. Isn't that beautiful? This is sterling, of course. I don't know if it's marked, but it's it certainly is sterling without a doubt. So that's beautiful. I really like, well, the movement, you know, these hearts dangle, but look at the detailing right there. Isn't that nice? Sorry, it's sort of twisted funny, but it's in great condition. And I just think this is gorgeous. So it's like, um, it's like getting them again. You know, I get to pull them out and enjoy them. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to sell this. Look at this awesome bracelet. So this is that company, Sim Metallic. And so it's sterling and it has 14 karat gold wash on it. And it's kind of gorgeous, don't you think? I love the blue stones. Maybe we'll test these with our gem tester if it's in the mood to work today. You never can tell. So I got this one, I guess. Well, I got it a long time ago, but I got it again, if you know what I mean. And then these, I certainly wasn't interested in selling at an auction at a cheap price. These are gorgeous opal earrings. Look at the fire. Really nice. See the red? That is so pretty. So these are sterling. And who are they signed by? Let me see. MLD. Okay, no idea. TH, that's probably for Thailand, right? I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. That doesn't seem like it's real. It seems like a synthetic stone because of the shade of blue it is. But we can test it if you want. I'll put that in the pile for the end of the video. Some people are interested in watching testing. But isn't that interesting? So pretty. Oh, and here's something else. No way, no how. Is I going to sell this puppy right here? This one I'm really, really especially glad that I saved from the auction. <laughs> the auction people who are just going to resell everything for a great big profit. But some of these pieces like this one, it, I don't think you could just like find another one. You know, it's unusual. I should have untangled them first. My apologies. But this one is sterling. I don't know if it's marked. Um, hmm, maybe I'll put this in my red baggie and we can test this. I think it's sterling and turquoise. It definitely has some nice age on it, and it's just a very beautiful necklace. Let's see. Oh, and here's another antique. Look at this. 
How nice is this bracelet? Acorns. Isn't that so unusual? And I think this one is sterling also. Isn't that nice? I love it. I love panel bracelets. Just old and interesting, I think. I love vintage pieces especially. Here's a pretty necklace. Um, I don't know. I guess something is probably supposed to be hanging from there. What do you think? Or you think that's supposed to have those empty spaces? I don't know. But this is a, a very interesting and unusual sterling silver necklace. I love this. And here's a piece, like something like this. Okay, this is a little more ordinary. Like it's not the end of the world if this got sold inadvertently. And this is really uh, beautiful, I guess, Tahitian pearls. And it's on uh, sterling here. But I really like the way that there's only some, you know. And let's see what this says. Uh, 925 Italy. Yeah, diagonal. So I've sold that before. I've heard of that before. Let me zoom out a little bit. It's really pretty. I like the length on this one. You can't tell, but it's it's very long. And I think that's very pretty. And these are, yeah, they're knotted and everything. So they don't move around. They sort of stay at their own stations here. That's really pretty. And then this one, yeah, it wouldn't have been a big tragedy if this one sold, but I do really love this one. It's beautiful, right? Mother of Pearl, just gold tone and Mother of Pearl. That's a beauty. And then, um, yeah, I had these two. Now, I think these I did mean to give to them or I was going to give to them at some point because I think it's missing one of its dangles, right? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Oh, wait a minute. Is this not missing anything? Oh, okay. Yeah, then I, I take that back. These are beautiful. Sterling, of course. Yeah, really pretty. So that's that. So that was um, almost a disaster. And when they gave me my jewelry back, they gave it to me in this Cartier box. I don't think this one was mine. So I'll take it <laughs> because I'm sure just a plain box like this by Cartier will sell for something. So anyway, that was my near disaster. So thank goodness. And the, the girl was really nice on the phone, but she sounded really frantic because, you know, she was standing at the jewelry cases and people were looking at stuff and she's like I don't know which ones you mean and I said well check the website she's like I don't have internet on my phone so anyway I almost had a nervous breakdown don't want to think about what sold accidentally but I'm glad that I got this stuff back anyhow at least so let's continue on with some things that I've been buying over the past few weeks I really have been buying some very very pretty items and this one too yeah, if I sold this, I would want to really get as much money as I, I can for it because it's beautiful. It's sterling silver. It's by this company, My Irish Jeweler. I had another one, too, that I sold um, on my YouTube auction. I think I got $70 for it, and it wasn't as nice as this one is. Whoa, sorry about that focus. What in the world? So that's like an Irish harp. Is that also called a lyre? I think so. And a shamrock and a clatter, but it's just really beautifully made. And I think this retails for a bunch, like $300 or something. So yeah, I wouldn't want to sell this at an auction and get $25 for it. Really charming little uh, charm bracelet. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. Okay, now we'll move on to the other haul. When I saw this, I knew right away it was Lucinda. I mean, I've never seen this exact one because, you know, there's Lucinda and then there's Lucinda. And you can tell this one is going to command a higher price. I think this sells for 40 or something like that. And isn't that just beautiful? Look at the moon. It's glittery. Oh, I just love that so much. Look at that fairy. Look at her wings. Isn't that gorgeous? So that was an awesome, awesome find. Love that. I'm going to be putting this on my um, eBay page, I think, today. So if anyone's interested, check it out. And then I got this loveliness. Isn't this pretty? These were all a dollar, by the way. This was in a thrift store, one of those little kind of church ones. So I paid a dollar for this, and I love this. 
And then I noticed in a separate uh, part of the store, they had earrings. And uh, thank goodness I looked because these go together. So I didn't see a mark, but this is really in very, very beautiful condition. The whole set is not marked, interesting. Really beautiful vintage pieces though. I love these. And I picked this out. They had like a whole box of the red hat ladies. And um, when I tried to look on eBay, I, I couldn't see anything that said Ruby Red Dames. So I don't know, it was in the red hat ladies jewelry box. Uh, but I didn't, I don't know if that's really what this refers to or if somebody just put it in there. So I'm not really sure what this is. But I thought maybe it had resale value. I think it's kind of cool, right? I liked it. I like finding things that, you know, just a little bit different. Now, these I bought realizing they probably weren't going to sell for very much. You can see they originally sold for $3.97. But I am super attracted to them. And I love them. And I just want to wear them. That's all. I think they're really sweet. You know, I usually wear big, gigantic earrings. But not all the time. Sometimes I don't want to wear big gigantic ones. So I just think there's something very, very sweet about these. So I just bought those for myself for a dollar. So this is kind of cool. It's sort of a flower power kind of thing. This is metal, but it's a poinsettia. Do you say poinsettia or poinsetta? Most people say poinsettia, right? But anyway, these are the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> So this was a dollar and I love Christmas jewelry and I love flower power. And this is just a great combination of the two. And then I got a proper flower power one. Look at this. Look at that awesome condition. Isn't that nice? Hot pink petals, light pink center. Love that. Great shape. The enamel is not chipped at all. It's like mint. And here's another flower power pin. By the way, I made a video a while back on my flower power pin collection. If you're big into these metal flowers like I am, uh, check it out if you want. And I don't know if I've ever seen one like this, you know, with the, the beautiful pink colors, the neon pink, the, the light pink, and then the petals are going opposite ways. See, these are curving down. These are curving up, concave and convex. Love that. Really splashy and wonderful. Then I saw this. When I saw this, I was shocked when I picked it up because it looks like metal, but it isn't. It's plastic. Really light. I thought that was fun. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but I think it's really different. I like the different shades of blue. And then, oh, look at this one. This one. Look. The Ferris wheel goes around. I think I have another one of these, or I had another one of these. I might have sold it. I don't remember, but I really like that. <laughs> People in the roller coaster. That's that thing that makes me sick. Anything that spins makes me sick. And I think this is AJC, right? Oh, is it not marked? Are you not marked? It does say something right there, but I think it probably says AJC but who knows? Oh, there it is. Yep. AJC. Okay. I love that. I love uh, jewelry that has a little mechanical thing going on. They thought that was really cute and great condition. $1. Here's a really pretty item. This one is not plastic. This is shell. And I think this is really pretty. My camera's not doing this justice. Oh, is it marked? What do you say? I think you say Western Germany, don't you? Yeah. Western Germany. Okay. Pretty little thing. Probably from the 60s, I would think. Really nice. I love this. I like the way that this uh, leaf here kind of skews more in the blue family, and this has more of a pink tinge. Very pretty. Let's see what else I got there. I got this for a dollar. How cute. Now, here's a great trick. 
sometimes the ladies set up like little outfits on mannequins and they put jewelry on them sometimes. So this was actually on one of the mannequins on an outfit. So I said, oh, I really want these cherries. Can I take this pin off? And she said, yes, of course. So that's how I got these. Don't overlook that when you go to a place because they, they do want to sell the jewelry, you know. So I don't know. I just sort of like it. Little beads. I guess that's felt. Somebody probably just made this, right? That'd be kind of easy to make for anybody who is crafty and clever. So that that rules out me. <laughs> but really kind of cute little thing. I don't know. I like it. I look forward to wearing this. I think it's unusual. Now I saw this and I think this is interesting. So this is a Monet beautiful choker. This is nice and small. So this would really be warm right in the center of your neck. And, uh, but what I think is interesting about it is it has this thing on it. And so it was sort of like sitting there. So it looked like junk because this has this rope thing and it's sort of dirty and everything. So sometimes uh, when this sort of stuff happens, I think it sort of helps you out because somebody is just like, ah, oh, what, you know, it just looks like crappy or whatever. Um, and maybe that's the reason that, you know, this was also a dollar and it's really nice. My camera is not really showing how pretty this is. So this is really a very, very beautiful choker. This would look really great, I think. So I think that's it for that thrift store, but I bought some other things in, uh, yard sales. Like I got this little bunny rabbit. Now this is ceramic, see, or clay. Oh, there's a chip right there. Uh, I hope I hope I didn't do that. Still cute though, doesn't show from the front. I know people collect bunnies, so I think that's pretty fun. I like that. And oh, these are really pretty. Look at these earrings. Aren't these nice? I think these are quite beautiful. And they're screw backs. So probably 40s on these. These almost have a little bit of an Egyptian feel to them. Kind of nice, right? I don't know. Yeah, I would say maybe even early 40s on these. What do you think? They are sort of coarsely done. You know, you can see kind of the, the glue and not a high-end pair of earrings, but I think a very, very pretty pair of earrings. And then I got these. These are just really beautiful. I love the bold colors. Very bold AB, and then some of the stones aren't AB, but those sure look like rubies, right? Look at that great ruby red. I think these are really nice dangle earrings. They're just unusual, and they would really dangle side to side, you know? They sort of look like pendulums. So I got those somewhere. Didn't pay a lot for any of these things, by the way. Not even those uh, turquoise and sterling pieces and stuff in the beginning. I get almost everything at yard sales and thrift stores, and I don't pay much if I do. Like, I did buy a brooch for $20, which is so unusual, uh, but I really wanted it, so I did treat myself. But in general, these things are, you know, a dollar or less each. And sometimes people go, wow, how do you find all this great stuff? And the answer is luck, I guess, somewhat. But the other answer is I go a lot, you know, I, I really take it seriously. I just don't go to one or two yard sales and then go home. I go for hours and hours and hours. And, you know, I leave my number with people and I'm talking about it and asking people. And so I'm kind of proactive, you know, but it's luck too. I think a lot of this stuff, the thing is, I just love it. So it doesn't feel like a chore, you know? Oh yeah. I found this in a yard sale uh, at a yard sale. This was a dollar. And I thought maybe somebody would want to have it. You know, people collect snow babies. This is a little pin. Department 56, of course. Suggested retail, $5. <laughs> it's probably not worth anything. But what I'll do, uh, what I do often is when I pick up little things like this, and I think at this particular yard sale, I bought like a bunch of other stuff too. So, you know, you just kind of uh, lot it all together and then they knock a bunch of money off and you pay a certain price. Then when I get home and some of these little pieces of jewelry, I, I go, ah, oh, it's really not going to sell for anything. Uh, I lot it up and I give it to that auction place or sometimes I lot it up and sell it on eBay. So uh, that's what I do. And sometimes like maybe not this one because the box has wear, but like I'll give it to my aunt or something like that for Christmas, you know, so sometimes I use them as gifts. So I really can't lose any anything because they will go to a good home one way or the other, that's for sure.
I just think that's actually really cute. Look at that little angel. I love, I love the blue eyes. Whoa, what do you think about this Can Can doll? Woo! Look, she's a sexy little thing. <laughs> Look at her fishnets. How cute is she? That's like in perfect condition. And this is, I guess, a uh, hard plastic. Yeah, just as cheap as can be. This was maybe even a carnival doll. But I, <laughs> I love this. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to sell it yet or put it on my shelf, but I thought she was very, very fun. Look at that headdress. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so yeah, I know, not jewelry, but still really cute and very girly, right? Look at her hair. Woohoo. Yeah, she's my kind of girl, this one. Now, how about this compact? Look, isn't that nice? You know, I love hands. Um, it's broken. You know, it had like, I, I saw it. It was at a yard sale. It was a dollar and it had a couple of petals broken. And I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's supposed to be another flower there or something. <laughs> but I couldn't not buy it for a dollar. How cute is that? I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I should probably just sell it, but I don't know. I probably won't get any money for it. Oh, maybe I'll give it to the auction. I'm not sure. I just love that. This is probably from the 1950s. One clue that it's not older than that is because it has these AB stones right here with this Aurora Borealis coating on them. So that was patented or, or invented, I think, in 1955. Some people say it was 1957, but, you know, it's the mid-50s anyway. So because of that, I would think this item is not older than that. But, you know, these could have been put in at a later date. You never know. Regardless, I love it. Here's the item I paid $20 for. I just fell in love with it. I really, really fell in love with this. And, you know, sometimes in my life, I've done things like, uh, oh, I can't spend 20. I can't spend 20, you know. And then later on, I, I'm like, I'll buy pizza tonight, you know, and I spend that same 20. Like, I'm not going to die and have that $20 in my hand. It's going to be spent either way. I mean, it's not like it was 2000 or 200 But I did feel a little bit decadent spending that much money. But do you love it? I don't know. I do. I'm not sure why. I don't know what it is. It's not even signed. It's probably not worth it, but it is worth it to me. So that's why I bought it. I just love it. It's in beautiful condition. I found these earrings at a yard sale and they sure look like 18 karat gold, right? Or 22 karat gold. Uh, they're not, but I wanted them because I wanted to wear them. I do wear earrings like this. So um, I love these and I'll show you the first step and seeing if something is, is gold as I do usually just check it with a magnet. I have a magnet that's a keychain magnet that I use often, you know, while I'm out and about. As you can see that's grabbing. Still beautiful though, and they look brand new. These were a dollar at a yard sale. I said, yes, please. So those are pretty cool. They're heavy though. I don't know if they're gonna be comfortable in my ears. I'll have to check that out. Pretty cool though, right? They have that Indian look for sure. Here's a pretty old brooch. I love this era. This is either 30s or 40s, and I think this is very lovely. It's in nice condition. This is not everybody's style, but I just love the simplicity of it. I think it's beautiful. Then I just got a couple of sort of oddities. Here's a wishing well. There's a lot of very beautiful rhinestones. And then I got this carriage. Is this a 1928? Oh, yeah, it probably is. That's probably their swirly stuff. Is that missing a stone? Um, No, I don't think there is supposed to be a stone in there. Okay, I think we're good. So that's really cute. And then I found this. I think this was like 25 cents or something. And I was like, what a cute little thing that is. Uh, What does that say? Clotilda Siege? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is all about, but I really did like this little sewing machine. Cute items. Oh, and then I got this. This one is not real Damascene, but it is, I guess, in the style of, of real Damascene. It's Damascene looking. 
and people do sell these and say that they're damascene but i've explained the differences maybe i'll do another video on the uh, video on that at some point and i just think this one was extra extra beautiful with those big pearls faux pearls of course now this is kind of unusual um, I think this is probably from the 60s or 70s, not super old, but it looks like branch coral, but it isn't like the normal coral that I'm used to seeing. So this is either, I don't know, you think that's sponge coral or um, it's not our friend the spondylus, is it? I'm not exactly sure, but I think this is a very, very funky and cool necklace. Isn't it neat? I love it. I love this color too. So I got that. I think this was a dollar or two at a yard sale, or maybe it was two dollars. Most stuff here is a dollar. Pretty, right? And I just sort of stumbled on these. Uh when my mother had, you know, gone to a bunch of yard sales and she found tons of gold, uh, you know, more than a hundred grams of gold. There was only one of these earrings, I think. And so I was going to, uh, you know, sell it, uh, scrap it or whatever to my gold guy. And uh, she found the other one before I brought it there. So I was really happy about that. So I'm going to be putting these on my eBay page too. I love these. It looks like clovers and um, that's opal. And I think it's 14 karat. It might be 10. Mm, I have to take a look. It's probably somewhere here on this. Um, post right here. Anyway, I'll, I'll take a look and I'll probably be putting those up. So I thought that um, that was kind of good that she found the other one so I can get more money for it than just, you know, selling it to the jeweler who's not going to give me much because there's not really a lot of gold. To me, the value here is those beautiful, beautiful opals. I love opals. Then I found this at a yard sale. Uh, I talk about this sometimes. These can be real gold. So if I see them and I'm just grab, I just grab it, you know, take it first and ask questions later. <laughs> That's my motto. I don't think this is probably gold. I've never seen it uh, this blackened like that, but maybe, I don't know. I'm going to have a look at it. I had a similar one that I was showing you guys a few weeks ago that I did end up uh, bringing to my melt guy and he peeled all the gold off and it was a pretty nice piece. I would have sold it on eBay, but it was all like broken. So that's why I had to, I kind of had to scrap it. So anyway, the reason that I just wanted to show this, I just want to make you aware that if you're at a yard sale and you see something like this, you know, and it's whatever, 50 cents or a quarter, grab it. Sometimes they're gold. And uh, by the way, I did a haul video. Uh, well, I put it out yesterday and it was just sort of ironic because I was just showing in a previous video uh, cross pen. And I said, you know, sometimes pens can be solid gold, but I've never seen one. I've never seen a solid gold pen. And then uh, the other day I went to a yard sale and I found a solid 14 karat gold Harry Winston pen. So I thought that was really funny that I had just said, geez, I've never seen that before. You know what I've never seen before? A 25 karat diamond ring. <laughs> so, okay, now that I said it, maybe I'll find it, right? Anyhow, this one is the last thing for today. I don't know what's going on here with this thing. Um, it looks like something's occurring, right? Like somebody put that shank on there. Uh, I don't know. It just, it looks like this part is old. Maybe it isn't old. Maybe it's only made to look old. Not sure. So why don't we test our last few things? We'll test them out on our, on our gem tester if it's working today. So fingers crossed. So if you've never seen a gem tester before, here's what we're looking at. And this has a little um, sensor. And when you place this little sensor on uh, a stone, it registers the heat, I guess, really, or the, the how um, a stone conducts heat will help determine, I don't know, it's all like over my head. All I know is I put this thing on a stone and this moves. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really a very smart person. <laughs> I don't really understand the mechanics of it. So anyhow, let's just take a look. So the first thing is, let's see this. Now, I would think this is probably going to be, uh, aquamarines are, I think, more valuable, right? Correct me if I'm wrong about that. So I think this one will probably be, um, I don't know. 
Yeah, I, I had something in my head that I was going to say. Never mind. So, <laughs> speaking of not smart enough. All right, let's try this. Let's see what you are, light blue stone. I'm just going to put this tip on here and press down a little bit. And it is going up into topaz. That's actually what I meant to say. It's right there. Duh. Yes, I was going to say, I think this is a blue topaz. And it is. So uh, this is a quite lovely bracelet. This is the one that's sterling with the gold wash, 14 karat gold wash. That is good to know. Those are topaz stones. Really kind of a cool deco look to this, right? Love that one. Now, let's test this. I don't think there's a stone on God's green earth that is that color blue, but um, I don't know. Let's find out if it's something. Uh-oh, see how my... The thing is moving a little bit. This thing is so on the blank and I've already bought three of them. So I don't know what to do anymore. But anyway, let's see what this does. I would expect this to be glass. Yeah, I think that's just in the glass, right? Okay. So I was correct. I don't think there's a, a natural stone that's this color. Is there? Let me know. I know my people know. I don't. Stones are really not my strong suit. All right, so let's try the blue first. Oh, I wonder if those are spinels. Okay, let's try another one just to be sure. Hmm. Uh, that is, uh, those are blue spinels, I guess. Let's try these little white things. I would think these are glass. Let's see. Yeah, looks like glass, right? Let's try one more. All right, well, that's very interesting. I just love this ring is all. Um, I really, really do. Thank you so much for coming to join me today. I hope that this was fun and I hope you like some of the jewelry that I've recently gotten. Please uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite piece is as always. And please spread the word about my channel if you would be so kind. I hope to catch you soon, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.